they have arrested Pavel Durov, who is the founder of Telegram. Ow! What is happening online, in short, is that everyone is somewhat divided between those who say no. Freedom of expression. If you arrest him, then you must also arrest the one from Facebook, the one from Twitter, the one from... And others who say no, things are different. And how can they be different from this? Briefly, Gurov has always been a free player. He left Russia, despite being Russian by origin, because he never wanted to submit to the regime, censorship, etc. He has always wanted Telegram to be a free place where people can express themselves freely. However, freedom of expression, okay, but giving space to fraudsters, people, and other types of, how to say, serious crimes, drug dealers, etc., are two separate things. Of course, the platform. The principle is basic and common that when you are not creating editorial content, meaning you are not choosing the content yourself, but others are providing the content, you are not generally responsible for what is published on the platform as long as you remove it when it is reported. In the case of a crime where a judge asks you to provide access to those contents, you should give them to him. These are the points that make the difference between him and other platforms. He is different, just like him. What does it mean that it is not the same as arresting Mark Zuckerberg? Because Mark Zuckerberg, when the police ask him for data, information, he provides everything immediately. There are almost automatic procedures in place now. And so are the others. There are those who don't do it, and he is one of those who don't do it. There's the issue of encrypted chats, but it's minor. Most of the rooms are free. In short, the dealer on Telegram is easy to catch if he provides the data to the authorities. The fraudster is full of fraudsters. It's not the medium's fault, of course. However, it is a medium that attracts that type of people because it is free. But freedom ends where that of others begins. We must remember this principle. And his freedom ends the moment he and that of the fraudster infringes on mine. That is, when he defrauds us. Sure, this is what is happening. So, our founder, CEO of Telegram has to decide. Of course, there could be political backstories where he had decided to collaborate in this way, but he is forced to do so by the justice system because he has even been arrested, and therefore no one will kill him because, in the end, it is not his fault. However, it remains to be seen, but this important division, in my opinion, needed to be highlighted immediately regarding freedom of expression, very good, and the freedom to offer rooms that become palaces that become skyscrapers, fraud because where you close is the central force of order, or maybe not.